Hey guys, welcome to my Samoan language instruction on making and forming questions in Samoan. So today we're, it's going to be a quicker video and some of the stuff you probably already know. So the first, the first part is um, something that we kind of talked about is the intonation of your voice. Okay, so we talked about in one of my basic videos, it's probably good to, to review it at this point. Uh, in Samoan, the intonation drops on one, the last syllable of the sentence if it ends in a diphthong, or two, the last two syllables if it doesn't. So remember what a diphthong is. A diphthong is a line above one of the vowels, and it makes it um, have more of an emphasis on that vowel. Okay, So we know what those are. If there is one at the very last uh, vowel or the last syllable, um, then we end the diphthong, or we, we, we drop our intonation there, the last syllable. If there's no diphthong in the last syllable, then we drop it in the last two syllables, okay? So where are you going, okay? Going is, those are two syllables, going, okay? And in, in English, okay? So and in English, I raise my intonation. So I'd say, where are you going, okay? But in Samoan, it's, where are you going, Okay, so see how you lower your voice at the end of a question in Samoan. So, ofea ete alu iai. Okay, so ofea ete alu iai. Those that iai is the last two syllables, and you really lower those iai. Okay, so that's basically I'm just saying where are you going in Samoan? Ofea ete alu iai. Okay, so that is the, the main way that, that, that you make a question in Samoan is you lower your intonation, either the last syllable with a diphthong or the last two syllables if it doesn't have a diphthong. The second way, and this is in more formal speech, so when you see written formats of Samoan or in more formal meetings, I guess, uh, you'll use po and pe. Po and pe may begin Samoan questions. So po, po precedes. So it depends on uh, what comes after it. Po comes before the particle O. So that's one. So if the particle O comes after the question, okay? So if you say po and then you use the particle O after it, then you use po, okay? So depending on what comes after you use po or pe is what you use in a lot of cases. So you might want to form a question. So you say po or pe. And if the particle O comes after that po or pe, okay, then you use po, okay? Or the present tense o lo o, because the particle O is in that, in which case the two are contracted to po. So if I wanted to say a question that has o lo o right after it, then I use po. -o. That's kind of funny, huh? So po. -o. So that is what I use instead of po o lo o, I just say po, -o, okay? Awesome. So then pay, this pay is normally used everywhere else, okay? Although pay and po may be used before the tense marker ua, okay? So po can go before, so let's just make a note. Po right here can go before the particle o, and it can go before ua, okay? But other than that, you use pay, okay? Pay. Pay can also be used before the tense marker Olea. So this is one of the other exceptions. Pe can go before olea as well. Okay, so olea has the particle o in it, but you can still use pe before it. Okay, so there's a couple exceptions. Po goes before the particle o, and it can go before ua. And pe can actually go before olea as well. Okay, but the particles po and pe are optional in forming questions and are usually omitted in informal speech. So every day talk, you don't really see these po and pe's a lot in this form. There is another uh, way that you use po and pe, and we're going to get that, to that in a more advanced video. Uh, but we um, are going to wait for that uh, for now. Okay, so. Uh, if, if anything is um, confusing, go back and rewatch from the beginning or wherever you need to to, to get um, these concepts and rules down. Okay, so I'm going to give you some example sentences and then I'm going to give you your own to work on. Okay, so did the girl love the boy? Okay, so did the girl love the boy? So I'm thinking in formal speech, obviously, we're using Poe and Pei. And um, 
what, what we need to do is, okay, is, what do I use after the po or pe? Okay, I want to form a question, so I use po or pe at the beginning of that, and then the next thing that comes is just how I would normally translate it. So in the past tense, did the girl love the boy? That's past tense. And then past tense is sa. Um, so pe sa alofo le tene e le tama. I would use pe there because there's no particle o. Okay. Will they go? Well, that's a future tense marker, but the future tense marker is one of my exceptions, like we saw in my last slide. Okay, and I can use pay here as well. So I could have used pay or po right here. And uh, more, more often, I, I hear pay olea. For some reason, they use pay olea instead of po olea. Uh, maybe they don't want too many o's right there. So pay olea o atsu ilato. Okay, so then my next one is the girl sleeping. Right now, is she sleeping? So I'm using the, the tense marker olo'o. And I want to form a question with that. And olo'o has the particle o, so it would be po olo'o. But as we saw in my last, the last page, you just combine po olo'o to just be po o. Po o moi le tene. Po o moi le tene. Okay? So that's, that's one example. And then another example, is that a new book? Po o se tu si fo le na tu si. Okay? Are, so that's another combination of po o lo. And then did you go to the bathroom? So what what do I have? I have my tense marker that's sa pe sa alo oi ile fale wila. Okay? Awesome. So that is the example sentences I'm going to give you. So I'm going to give you, this time I'm going to give you the sa moin and I want you to convert it to English. But just remember... In these sentences that I've given you, just remember, okay, why did he use a po there and why did he use a pe there, okay? Just remember that, and then as you try to form your own sentences, try to use the correct form, okay? And the way you can continue to improve is to read and see where they're using pe and po in their speech. A lot of times you can omit it, but they, it is still used, so I, I feel like it's needful to, to teach you. Especially when you combine po o lo o, it's po. What does po o mean? Well, now you know it's po o lo o. It, it means I'm forming a question with the tense marker o lo o. Okay, so here's the, the ones that I want you to, go, to work on in the bottom table and uh, work on these and pause the video and try to, to translate these into English. Okay, so I hope you were able to pause the video. And, and if you didn't pause the video, guys, I can't stress enough the time that you actually learn is when you're trying to work on it yourself, okay? And if you work on it and you can't come up with it, try to, try to get it as good as you can. Work on it for a few minutes. If you can't get it after that, then refer to this video and, and see where you went wrong, okay? But if you don't take the, the time to work on it yourself, then you won't get that problem-solving skill that you need to, which you need in, in, uh, in learning any language, okay? So, here's the answers to that. So, they're the same as this bottom. Po o se fai fiao oi. That is, are you a minister or a missionary? Okay. And pe sa tau tatala i la ua i le fale sa. Is, did those two talk at the chapel? And then pe sa vala ao le fai a unga i la soa. Did the teacher call his companion? Pe olea momoi fai fiao i le fale oti ulu. Are the missionaries going to, the, to sleep at the barber shop? And po o ta moe o ia i le fale ta alo. So this one isn't a question, so I don't need to lower my, uh, the inflection of my voice. But, uh, oh, actually it is a question, sorry. Um, I should have a, a question mark right there. I don't know why I don't. Um, but right here needs a question mark. And so, is he, she running to the gym? Okay, so sorry I didn't have a, tense, or a question mark right there, uh, but I feel like, um, I mean, it's a kind of a small mistake. Anyways, uh, if you need to continue practicing this, I recommend re-watching the video. Um, your best friend when you learn a language is repetition. So rewatch and 
here is some vocabulary that I want you to work on, okay? And I feel like all of them are pretty uh, easy to pronounce at this point. Um, the one that I think that you should work on um, that, that might be a little bit tricky is the word to smile or to laugh. The plural version of that, so the singular version is just ata, but fe atai, fe atai is the plural version of that. So that means multiple people are laughing and um, smiling, or, or smiling, so one or the other. Okay, guys, until next time, tofa soy fua.